hey hello everyone welcome back to the cloud ops junction so even you are worried about not getting enough compute capacity for your critical workload in azure what if i told you there are a way or there are ways to reserve computer instance in advance ensuring your application is always get the resource that they needed so yeah in this video we will talk about azure capacity reservation what it is how it work and uh, when you should use it so if i talk about what is a capacity reservation so azure capacity reservations allow you to reserve a virtual machine capacity in a specific reason availability zone ensuring that your workload is guaranteed uh, with guaranteed back sls uh, when they are needed so that's the small uh, that's the small definition if i talk about the key features what i mean yes definitely there would be some key features why it is so important to have it so the reserve capacity without upfront commitment so basically you don't have to pay anything to reserve your capacity upfront you don't have to pay work with existing vm size and skus and uh, it's integrate with azure instance and cost optimizations can be cancelled or modified as per demand so these are couple of few couple of uh, key features that is important uh, while uh, while we talk about azure capacity reservation why azure capacity reservation matter let's take it an example you are working for a e-commerce company uh, that is preparing for a black friday sale so before a black friday sale let's take uh, that's th this is a, a reason called east us2 and you are using a specific sku that is e a e8 sv3 now a normal day you required only suppose you are you using sku count is 32 you only need 32 during normal production this your this is your normal day however when there will be a black friday sale you might need around let's take 100 skus you need 100 skus during black friday sale so this is your let's not take this one example so this is your black friday sale so how much capacity you needed you needed 100 and 100 capacity you needed so on east us2 suppose microsoft has provision around 110 uh, okay so now during the black friday sale it might have i mean out of 110 i'm taking a hypothetical example 32 you already being used rest of them rest of uh, the other that are remaining might be possible there are other clients and customers of azure they are utilizing it so on the d day on the black friday sale everything goes as per your plan what microsoft suggests you do a capacity reservation so in the capacity reservation you need to create a group and you need to uh, tell the microsoft okay then i am going to use i will be needing 100 skus of e8 sv3 so what that way they will do they will reserve 100 skus of e8 sv3 for you in advance that is SLA backed guaranteed and so that during the Black Friday sales when you need those 100 SKUs that will be available in case if you are not reserving those instances or reserving those capacity what will happen you only have 32 and when you when the time will come when you when you have to scale your environment when you have to scale your web apps when you scale your uh, infrastructure then those SKUs will not be 
in that scenario your SKUs will not be available okay and what will happen your production might get impacted during that sale so what Microsoft suggests okay let's do additional cap okay on during the peak hours they need additional capacity to handle the traffic uh, volumes so without a capacity reservation they I mean you might be running into the risk of VM availability because on East US 2 you only have 110 32 you are already used there are other customers also they, they might be needing it so you have to tell the Microsoft in advance okay now I need 100 so that your operations go smooth and uh, your uh, uh, happy operations is a happy customer right so to make sure that you keep your environment up and healthy no impact on your black friday sales so you have to reserve this capacity in advance so when you there now another thing this was one example that why when you need a capacity reservation so there are some other examples also so let's take uh, there there would be some other examples also okay why should you use as your capacity reservation? So there are multiple uh, benefits of using Azure capacity reservation. One is in case if you are running a mission critical workload, an application that is mission critical, that's only required a specific amount of SKU or specific need of SKU, then you definitely go with uh, reservation. Second is disaster recovery. Why in, in disaster recovery, suppose you are having a, uh, this is one, this is your another, okay. Now, this is your East US 2 and uh, you have a DR it, in, okay, C -E -N -trol, Central US, okay. Now, what happened? one day entire east us is down okay and you are running a specific workload of uh, let's assume of uh, 63 machines or 64 machines so while a dr what will be happen when east us is down everyone be looking up to for dr when everyone be rushing to central us there would be shortage of SKUs. SKUs will not be available. So in that scenario, what you have to do? You have to make sure you reserve around 64 or maybe 70 SKUs instance at availability zone for yourself. So whenever the DR situations come, you will be able to provision your, your infrastructure at a DR location. So this is why it is very important you must have uh, uh, you must have ready on demand SKUs or availability of your uh, virtual machines during DR recoveries. Now, there is one more example that I would say is uh, seasonal workload. I just I told Black Friday sales, Christmas sales, New Year sales, any other occasions like uh, in India we have Diwali, Holi. We have got a lot of sales so during that period also we required where we have to optimize our uh, on demand uh, needed so that's why also we need seasonal workloads so we need some certain amount of SKUs that uh, that is important to we need certain amount of SKUs guaranteed during that period combination of reserved an RI to save some of the cost so combining RI combining with it RI that is reserve instance optimize and ensure the capacity is available so that is also an important point to take in consideration now what would be the benefit benefit we have already uh, benefit we have already discussed about high availability uh, capacity storage you will get you will get a reserved instance and can be used with reserved instance uh, preferable with resource allocation in critical workload so yeah, these are some couple of uh, couple of benefits so now how would you create capacity reservation so now to 
create the capacity reservation we have to jump into the portal now on portal what we will do we will search for capacity reservation groups okay and under groups we have to select the uh, now suppose let's take you have multiple subscriptions so you have to select the subscription where you want that capacity to be reserved and in which which reason you wanted to do it so let's do it for let's create let's click on create reservation so to create the capacity reservation we need to click on capacity reservation we need to select the uh, subscription where we wanted to do it uh, there should be a name let's put cap hyphen rg let's create a new rg let's give it it's a name capacity reservation capacity uh, we need on east us2 availability zone we don't want it uh, reservation what we need we need uh, let's say d4 series how many instance let's take two instance i needed and uh, d4 sv3 this would be the cost and now we can create on review and create so this is how you can actually create the uh, capacity reservations now this would be the cost associated to it i um, i forgot to tell you about the cost so there is something called cost consideration so before you jump and create let's talk about i mean let's talk about cost as well because it some cost is associated to it so cost it's pay as you go pricing applies unless you used and with your reserved instances so this is a very important that you should take uh, that you should understand it so it comes under pay as you go unless you are reserve your instances second is reservation does not require any upfront cost so there is no upfront cost available for it and third is instance reserved instance can be combined with uh, with the uh, combined for potential potential cost savings so yeah you can also do that and the final thought azure capacity reservations allow you to reserve virtual machine capacity in a specific azure reason and the availability zone uh, ensuring that the workload are guaranteed and the resource are needed when you need it actually and without capacity shortage reserve compute instance in advance ensure the availability of high demand high demand situations can be combined with resource in, uh, reserved instance for the cost benefit ideal for uh, mission critical workload and uh, predictable infrastructure need so yeah that was a small video about the capacity reservation so if you find this video helpful make sure you like and subscribe for uh, for new more azure insights uh, please be stay connected thank you so much for watching this video have a wonderful day